Hello. <laughs> I'm a tiny bit late today. <laughs> Not by much, but I, I, I timed my morning poorly. <laughs> I was like, oh, time to make my, my tweet, uh, 30 minutes and, you know, uh, I'm gonna go live. And then I proceeded to continue to edit a video. And also, I needed to, like, take out the trash and take care of my cat. So, oops. <laughs> One minute late. <laughs> but that's okay. I've been far later for, like, retail jobs. Critters here! One time, one time I was late to a retail job and uh, my manager was like, you're kind of late. And I was like, yeah, I was petting a cat. Because <laughs> I was. There was a cat and I'd stopped to pet it. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Yeah, uh, so I know I just did a tier list, um, like just last week, but... Uh, uh, I wanted to do another one. <laughs> and uh, it's my stream. I'm in charge. Um, I I decide what I want to do. And I wanted to talk about Hypnosis Mike some more. Uh, if you didn't watch my video about Hypnosis Mike, then you're going to be slightly in the dark. I recommend <laughs> watching it. It's only like 10 minutes long. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... To give you a rundown, I'm gonna tell you guys now. Actually, first, before I explain Hypnosis Mike, I want to mention I made Allison get me pita bread just because she went to the store last. I was like, Allison, can you please give me pita bread? Because I want that. And she did. Um, uh, and I've eaten it, and it's delicious. I'm not 100%- What are- So you- 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 so pita bread is great, and I want pita bread recipes. You guys, tell me what to put in slash on the pita bread. <laughs> You've rewatched the vid like 10 times. Thank you. It is fun. It's a fun vid just because it's me being like, I like this thing. Look at these things I like. <laughs> pita bread bro. I, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It was tasty. It was delicious. I did microwave it though. <laughs> like, I, I cut it in half. And I ate one half of it just like, just normal. <laughs> and then, and then the other half I microwaved for 15 seconds, and both were really good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Everyone has entered chat. Excellent. So now that we've also got a good handful of people, let me explain what hypnosis Mike is. For any of you who, buffalo dip is pretty good with toasted pita. Okay, okay, good to know. See, I need. It. <laughs> Today's stream is just. Is just anime boys <laughs> and pita bread. <laughs> That'd be the name of the episode. <laughs> um, so Hypnosis Mike, in short, is uh, music. It's it's rap. It's Japanese rap. And the plot to Hypnosis Mike is that... So after World War Three, Japan um, now is controlled by women... Uh, and the the men have to fight for territory uh, with with rap battles, and also they get special microphones that lets them do magic. And that's the plot that you really need to know. <laughs> um, some of the boys used to be friends, and now they're not friends anymore because of something. Uh, I- because the I, I the anime, I can't find it streaming anywhere. And the manga hasn't been translated. And people have very nicely offered to send me, um, a fan translation, like, Discord link. But I'd rather read an official translation personally, so that's alright. So, but- and the mobile game is not available where I live either. Um, so because of that, my knowledge of the plot is slightly limited. <laughs> But th that's all the important stuff you really need to know. So, from here on out, it's basically just me talking about, um, rap. Rap and c cute anime boy designs. You may have noticed that my list of, of tier options are different from usual Husbando lists. Uh, it's because 
Um, they all could absolutely, they're, uh, they're, they're great designs. I absolutely love the artist and their character designs are super good. And all the characters are likable. That's kind of the point. Um, so instead, it's I'm mostly ranking them based on like, so it's my favorite. We'll talk about that in a second. People, who, good characters slash design. Uh, characters who I really like how they rap. Uh, and then forgettable, and of course, a boy for the underaged fellas, because at the end of the day, it's still a husbando tier list. And if you're not of legal age, you're not a husbando, you're a boy. <laughs> so does everyone understand? Do we all grasp what we're doing today? Does anyone else have any pita bread recipes? <laughs> And, and can you hear my background music? <laughs> my eternal battle with with my BGM being too quiet and too loud. <laughs> While we're here, I'll get him out of the way immediately. You can semi hear the BGM. Music sounds good. I'll, I'll turn it up a smiggin. Roll it up like a thick burrito. <laughs> BGM's a bit quiet. I'm glad- it's like you guys are like the- you're like the the bears that Goldilocks finds, you know? Like one of you was like too loud, one of you was good, and one of you was- no, oh, two of you said quiet, so I'll turn it up a little bit more. Boop boop boop. Alright. Great. Gonna watch the stream while trying to get the dream body for the hot girl summer 2050. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Um, so yeah, let's let's start ranking things already. Uh, and also, how exciting! I've actually got pictures of the boys as well that we can pull up so that we can look at all of them. Is that the sweet sultry sounds of canon and DU here? It's Brodenberg. It's, <laughs> it's one of the ones that will- that often precede canon and D. <laughs> Don't worry, canon will show up. It's a- it's- I've got a love-hang relationship with canon. But let's start- let's start. And we're gonna start with my favorite. Uh, it, it's- it's tragic comedy. They have MC names and, like, normal names. This is Sasara. His MC name is Tragic Comedy. Uh, fun fact about my video, whether or not I call them by their MC name or not is mostly dictated by how confident I am in saying just their normal name. <laughs> so that's why, that's why for some of them, it's like M MC Mr. Hardcore, and then for others, I'll, I'll just say Ramuda, you know? <laughs> but let's talk about Tragic Comedy. So Tragic Comedy is my favorite. Um, and I don't really know why. Uh, I think he looks great. They all do. He's- he's super fly. I love the suit. The- giving him the suit with this pattern makes him so unique. You know, no one else looks like Sasara, you know? And especially with that hair as well. And I feel like, personally, we need more green-haired characters. Just like, in anything. <laughs> we never have green-haired characters, and when we do, they're like- they're villains and stuff, and I'm entering a phase where I'm like, just give us more green hairs. <laughs> Long tie sticking out of the butt. Yeah, that's that's a normal thing. That's a normal thing to do. He's a comedian. We well, we got yeah, all of Gumi. <laughs> yeah, so Tragic Comedy is a comedian. Um, and that also makes his his raps really different and unique. Um, and and really I think the <laughs> I think the big reason why he's my favorite is because I was introduced to Hypnosis Mike through him and one of his songs. Is Ah Osaka, A Osaka Dream a Night. He was like the first I saw and 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 I imprinted on him. <laughs> so yeah, I absolutely and I'll probably just spoiler alert, I'll probably also make a video talking about these character designs more in depth. <laughs> so uh yeah, absolutely love Tragic Comedy. He's 10 out of 10, so he's he goes into top. I wanted to handle him first because it wasn't fair for anyone else um, to be compared against him because based purely on just 
opinion, <laughs> I he's my favorite. There's no good given reason. I just like Osaka. <laughs> um, and I like tragic comedy. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Perfect husband. Uh, marry me right now. <laughs> He's not wearing socks. That's an interesting thing. There's another guy we'll see as well. I don't mind this because this feels like the how the suit is supposed to look. But um, I assume they're just short socks. But there's another boy who also, you can see his ankles. And I don't like it on him. We'll get to him later. Don't, uh, remember this. I'll, I'll mention. I'll mention the socks. <laughs> they're just invisible. Yeah, they're, they're like real, real low. <laughs> He also, he hates it, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, the sneaky ones you can get for fancy girl shoes, exactly. Uh, but yeah, there's Sasara handled. Now we can start going in order. Uh, which means first up is our main protagonist. It's Ichiro. So uh, Ichiro is fascinating. So all him and his brothers, they all, the three of them have like a numbering theme. Uh, he's number one because he's the oldest. The second one is two. Uh, and th three, and their names reference that um, Ichiro, each, or yeah, each is one in Japanese. All their names have the, the numbers in their names as well. They have one, two, and three moles on their faces corresponding with them. And they're all actually really interesting because they all have heterochromia, but in different ways. So he's got like one green eye, one red eye. And, uh, and it, it's really cool. They While the the Buster Bros, that's their group name, while their Buster Bros um, are like a classic sort of, this is the protagonist. He's got the black hair and looks kind of like how a young Japanese fella would look who might be interested in watching this. Um, and I think they do it really well. Ichiro fits that like, I'm the protagonist vibe without just feeling like, um, sort out online again, you know? <laughs> like, they still have character in- in how he looks. Also, fashionable as fuck. What a fashionable guy. <laughs> so I think Ichiro's really cool. Um, however, in terms of, like, all these characters, he's a little bit forgettable. Uh, and I'm- I'm gonna put him in forgettable while I- I just showered him with praise. <laughs> Oh, Hypnosis Mike is doing something new tomorrow? Ooh, that is exciting. No, I haven't seen. However, because I've been, like, religiously watching their videos, YouTube has basically, like, shadow- <laughs> shadow subscribed me to them. <laughs> so, I've been seeing them pop up on my homepage every day anyway. <laughs> no, I'm not a bully and a meanie- So the reason why he's forgettable is, while he's a very good rapper and a very cool character and a very fun design, in a world of all the other characters, he's just a little bit forgettable. The only reason I remember him is because he's the first, you know? Like, he's the first one to rap, you know, in, in group songs. <laughs> you like his mad dog look better? I don't really like any of their younger looks better, except for Ill Doc. Oh, I wonder, you probably heard my me just crash my water bottle into my table there. <laughs> Ill Doc's younger design looks pretty cool, but I'm, I, I don't really like any of their younger designs, really. He is very protagonist-y looking, and again, absolutely top tier. There's a reason why it's a- it's not husbando, you know, like my usual list of a good husbando, and then like, lame character, cool design, and then lame design, cool character. Um, it's because they all look great. Uh, unfortunately, that's the thing when you have to compare them to each other. In any other thing, he could be top tier. Um, and, and let me, like, they're all great rappers and they're all cool designs. But you have to start really nitpicking these things in order to make a tier list. Otherwise, literally all of them could be and can do both, you know? <laughs> Slap goggles on him and he'd look like a very Digimon protagonist. That's every, like... Put characters on any character and they're a Digimon protagonist. <laughs> but let's talk about his his brother. Let's talk about Jiro. Jiro is the second of the brothers. Uh, and that's really fun. I think he's cool. Um, I dig that while him and Ichiro like, have a very similar sort of aesthetic in terms of, you know, street hip-hop fashion, I like that 
they still look really different. Jiro does look younger with like these tighter pants and, and the flannel around his waist and the hat. Like they're clearly related without being like the same character again, you know? So I, I think Jiro looks super cool. I like him a lot better than, than Ichiro in terms of like design. Um, and his raps tend to be more fun too, just because, so he's like a young delinquent, you know, like, <laughs> like they're all, like Ichiro was also like, he used to be in a, a gang or something like that. And Jiro is following in his footsteps. But so that means he gets to have like the, the edgy sort of lines since he's, he's the middle child. <laughs> I think Jiro is super fun. I also like that they all have each other's colors on them. Ichiro is red, Jiro is blue, and, and the third brother, um, Saburu, they, they're yellow. And they all have each other's colors on them in a way that, like, works really well, you know? Uh, unfortunately for, for Jiro, uh, he's 17. <laughs> so he goes into a boy, which is a real shame. When I thought he was, like, 19, then I was like, what a cool guy. He could, he could be and he can do both. Because uh, I really like the character and the design, and his raps are really fun, but he's 17, so he's unfortunately just a boy. <laughs> is this the one with the ankles? Oh, well, he does have ankles. The The other one with ankles is Dice. I'll, I'll mention it, don't worry. You just remember. I'll bring it up, don't worry. <laughs> his shoes look comfortable. They all have cool looking shoes. All, every single one of them. Um, so yeah, uh, I really like Jiro, but he's only 17, so what a shame. <laughs> he does have ankles. <laughs> Visible, I guess, is the hidden word there. <laughs> the important hidden word. <laughs> yeah, his hair is really fun. I like I like it a lot. Um, time for the, the final brother. It's Saburu. Uh, so he's fun because while the other two were like, Oh man, we're delinquents. We we live on the streets. We're part like part of gangs and thugs. Saburu, he thought about doing that. He was like, I'm thinking about becoming a, a, a ne'er-do-well myself. But then Jiro did that. And then he was like, eh, I guess I'll just do well in school then. He's like a little child genius. <laughs> That's his whole jive. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just think that's hilarious to be like contemplating a life of, of light crime and deciding, nah, my brother already did that, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna get good grades. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, there's not too much to say about Saburu. I don't love his raps, just because, um, you know, he sounds kind of younger, but hello, Zero. Uh, he sounds kind of younger, but sometimes he dips into a deeper voice, but for no real reason. He's cool. I don't, I don't hate him by any means, but, um, he's also 14, so a boy. <laughs> the most a boy, a boy. Uh, so, but a very, a very cute design. I think he's really fun. I, I, I like all the brothers a lot. How's the stream going? We just started talking about boys and rap and ankles. Ankles? Oh, and pita bread. Zero, if you've got any uh, uh, recipes, because I got pita bread, and now I need to know what to do with it. So uh, tell me what to do with my pita bread. <laughs> he looks like the cute one out of the three. He definitely is. Um, he's cute without being, like, cutesy. You feel me? <laughs> Wanted to pop in for a bit? Oh, way to go. I hope you're having fun. Stopped your exercise early to watch greatness. <laughs> Far into the- We're only four in. Uh, uh, yeah, nothing too special. We just talked about the brothers. Make a hero? Alright, I'll, I'll look that- I'll look into that. <laughs> but, uh, let's jump into the next group. So, this was alphabetical. We're gonna go with the leader first. Okay, so, next up is Allison's favorite group. Uh, it's Badass Temple. So Badass Temple's, like, theme is, like, pseudo-religious, but, but kind of just only in a way. It's, I don't know, it's complicated, but
but they're really cool. So this is Kuko. Uh, he's better known in our house as um, as Evil Monk, because <laughs> that's his MC name. And he is a monk, fun fact. That is his job, he is a monk. <laughs> He's also 19. <laughs> so, barely at the edge of no longer a boy. I like his, um... I actually pronounced Euro right. It's it because I, uh, it, I've heard it. <laughs> that, that's the only reason why. I, I would have read it as Jiro <laughs> or Gyro, <laughs> but I know, I know, I know about heroes. <laughs> but I absolutely love Badass Temple. Their sound tends to be really unique. They really went above and beyond for the two newer groups, Badass Temple and also um, Tragic, like Tragic Comedies Group. Um, they both are newer to the group and uh, like of Hypnosis Mike and they really they really pulled out all the stops for them in a way that that totally works. Looks like a dollar store Guzma. See I would have accepted dollar store oh what's his name? The kid from Naruto. <laughs> You're welcome, Zero. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll be your hero. Get it? It's because that's the joke. Hang on, let me get some water. <laughs> so he's like punk religious? Correct. Pocket sand kid. Yeah, him, him. Gara. Gara, Gara, Gara. That's his name, Gara. <laughs> we'll keep rolling with this song, why not? Um, yes. So, yeah. Punk religious. He's really fun. Uh, they do that, like, that's a, co a combo. I've never seen anywhere. <laughs> and and they do it real well. And his raps are super cool. I like Kuko a lot. I am going to put him into I'm going to I'm going to put him into he can do both. He cuz he can. What a unique guy. Even with him looking like he looks like so many other similar types of characters like Guzma, like Gara, um, you know, like this sort of like aggressive delinquent punk vibe is nothing new but but also being a monk makes it so interesting <laughs> no one else is like kuko so he gets to be near the top there i'm gonna let you know right now no one else is getting into the same tier as as sasara <laughs> this is this is his land <laughs> Ta can do both is the best anyone else can can hope for <laughs> He's interesting, but I need to know who he is personality-wise. Thank you, welcome! Hang on, I can't see. Oh, zero! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Take note, people. Pronouncing hero correctly is how you get five dollars from a happy Greek. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's enough money for me to buy more pita bread. <laughs> uh, need to know more about him personality-wise? He's kind of just like, you know, a generic delinquent personality-wise. A nice guy. A little full of himself. But, uh, yeah, for, for the most part, character-wise, nothing too out there. Basically, it's exactly what you see on the tin. Whatever you think his personality is, is, is what it is. <laughs> you, you see, you feel me? <laughs> but yeah, uh, a great guy. But let's look at his team members, starting with, um, we're gonna go with Jiyushi. So Jiyushi's really fun, because first, what a character design. Wow, fucking so because at first you see this like yellow and black hair and you're like that's a lot And then you see the rest of the of like the design with the jacket and stuff and you're like that's a lot <laughs> And then you figure out oh he's a lot <laughs> Is he like a vampire? No, he's I believe an idol like in in universe his job is he's a performer and he's got this cool duality. So he's got this very edgy sort of stance, you know, standing like Lelouch from Code Geass and everything. And a lot of raps you'll see him do. He's got this very bravado filled performance, you know, like with a deep voice and, and very big and bold. But when he's not on stage, he's really shy and he's got this cute little voice and oh I'm so nervous and 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 and, <laughs> and evil monk evil monk will like yell at him and, <laughs> and because he's like oh I'm just so sh sh shy uh, <laughs> and 
and that makes also the hair, because the hair was already really cool. But then when you realize that the black and yellow kind of coalesce with his duality of being shy off stage, but but big and brave on stage, it's he's so rad. I was like, he's neat, and then I figured that out, and he became even better. <laughs> He's really- and he does! Correct! Ooh, Yuri. Yuri Jumbles is a fellow Hypnosis Mike <laughs> fan. He has a- yeah, you're correct. He has a, a pig plushie. Its name is Amanda. <laughs> he looks like he could be an electric type gym leader. Yo, that'd be fucking rad. Also, look at his shoes. This is the thing. I need to get better at shoes. So then I can have other people go, Yo, look at those shoes when I draw characters. <laughs> But I absolutely love Jiyushi. He's- he's 10 out of 10. I- I think he's so much fun. He's also gonna go up here and can do both. Cause- cause he absolutely can. And let me- let me scoot up just a tiny amount. There we go. Now that looks nice. <laughs> GQ cover material. <laughs> also, I mean, come on. Anyone who puts red and yellow together in a way that makes it look good? Excellent job. Uh, he's 18, by the way. He is, he's one of the younger members of the group, of, of, of Hypnosis Mike. And that's really interesting, because... So he's 18, and Kuko is 19, and their third team member is 36! <laughs> and it's like, Hitoya. <laughs> Why are you hanging out with children? I guess he became friends with Jiyushi when... I guess when he was in middle school <laughs> um, and it's just like what a weirdo <laughs> but I love the dynamic of him being the other two's like mom do you Hitoya is also really fun because so you see this hair like this like really done up pompadour bullshit and you see this half black half white jacket and you think well he looks like a douchebag and then you learn he's a lawyer and it's like it makes sense <laughs> <laughs> I think the funniest character design is when a character is dropped out to dro drift out to the extreme, but then they got hobo shoes. <laughs> Dumb jacket. I like his jacket. The jacket is quite polarizing. I will say from experience, when at first I saw it, and here's the thing, it's the fact that it's like black and white, but then his pants are a different shade of black that makes it, I feel so like... Uh, you know, in terms of like how, how it makes you feel. It, you get used to it over time. It looks better the more you see it. Um, with, from different angles, sometimes he'll take it off and, and it, 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 it takes time, but it grows on you. <laughs> Cruella DeVille looking grandpa. <laughs> you thought it was 50% navy? It is more of like a dark blue, but it's definitely going for a black and white idea. His MC name is Heaven and Hell. So, yeah. That's- that's the jive. I understand why they did this, because otherwise it would look like too much black, but um, I think he's great. I also- he's got such a unique voice too. It's got a lot of gravel to it that I didn't expect, because you see this character and you expect like a smooth voice. And then- and then you hear him, and, and he's got like a real like- like texture to his voice that makes him stand out. He also uses English quite a lot as well, which which makes his his verses sound really really distinct. Um, it, and it's just really fun. We got Canon and D coming in now. <laughs> so if can Canon gets too loud, let me know. <laughs> um, also, bonus fact is that. Uh, because all of that, like, it all co was coalescing, and I was like, that's alright, that's alright. And then I figured out that he's got, like, he's going for a rockabilly theme. Like, a sort of pseudo-Elvis, rockabilly, American kind of jive, and also he rides a motorcycle. And with all of those things put together, I was like... I understand the character. It all had to come together before I, I really, really was like, 
into it. But once all the pieces were visible, I was like, oh no, yeah, this is this is a perfect character. <laughs> a perfect character with a perfect design. <laughs> you like how Japan includes older performers, so it's not just teens and early 20 year olds? Yeah, it's really cool. The guy who does um Ill Doc, like he's like IRL. He's like at least 50 and it's just really great because he performs really well. So yeah, it's r really fun stuff. And I love Heaven and Hell. Heaven and Hell gets to join the rest of his teammates up here and can do both. They're all- th they all belong together. There's a good reason- Allison likes this team for a good reason. Uh, because they're great and that's the reason. <laughs> the perfect rockabilly trait. Lawyer. I think that's why I like it so much is that it, it's a collection of things you wouldn't expect to go together necessarily, but they do. So, ten, 10 out of 10. Badass Temple is clearly the best team. I cannot deny it. I love Dotsutari Hanpo, and I really like Mad Trigger Crew, um, but Badass Temple is clearly the best. Um, uh, Allison has chosen the strongest team. Uh, I don't make the rules. <laughs> 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 they are nice shoes. They like that's the thing. His shoes make him look like he's trying to be 20. <laughs> uh but uh let's let's jump into the next group. Twins be like he's perfect then proceeds to not put him in top tier. Top tier is for my husband. <laughs> Tragic comedy is is the toppest of top. <laughs> the only reason why top isn't labeled tragic comedy was like cuz I wanted the to sort of pretend I wasn't just loving tragic comedy exclusively. <laughs> what does Dotsutari Hanpo translate to? It doesn't. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's the reason why it's the only one that's like in Japanese, but let me Google it. I'm sure it means something, but hang on one second. Yeah, because all the other group names are just in English. You know, that's why you got the Buster Bros and Mad Trigger Crew and Badass Temple. And then there's a- I often will just call Dotsutari Hanpo, um, Team Osaka. <laughs> if, like, I'm talking to Allison about it. Because Dotsutari Hanpo is the only one that's just in Japanese, and I'm unconfident in- in saying it. <laughs> this tier list is based on 4K twins. <laughs> so hang on, hang on. Let me Google it. I will always be here to Google your- your questions. Oh yeah, while I'm doing this, I'll put the next boy on screen. Uh, we're gonna- we've- we've re-entered Sasara's team. So here, I'll just put him on- on screen for right now. Yay, husband. <laughs> while I google what Dotsutari Hanpo uh, translates to. Unless Yuri was too fast. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Hang on, hang on, I'm scrolling. Okay, it's- it can be translated as Knock em Out Headquarters. That's what Dotsutari Hanpo stands for. My credibility is gone. <laughs> I never had credibility. I've just got opinions and enough confidence to say them like they're facts. <laughs> oh, it's a pen? What are we talking about? You thought he had a hat? You mean in his hand? It's a fan, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's a- he's got a fan. <laughs> What's with this chessboard looking ass bit? No, it's good! They're also, like, they're chevrons. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell at a distance like this. But yeah, it's a fan. Um, he's a- he's a comic. That's a- it's a normal prop for the type of comic he is to- to wield as well. It makes it really fun for, uh, like, live performances. Bonus fact about Sasara. This is about the the VA actually, the real life man who performs him. At least in the videos that I've watched, his his voice actor exclusively owns shirts that are like extra large. <laughs> he is always swimming in his shirts. Uh, just a thing I noticed. <laughs> a chevron. That's not a car pattern with. No, no, chevron is actually kind of a car pattern. <laughs> it's um, it's like a fancy diamond. It's like a diamond with one of the tops cut off. <laughs> but it, it, yeah, it's it's a thing about fashion. Something, something, fashion. This suit was probably more expensive than you'd think. <laughs> <laughs> 
Zero has bad taste in men. <laughs> this is what we're getting at. <laughs> but let's talk about Cesaro's group. We'll start with Rosho. Rosho's fun. His MC name is Wisdom. I also love his design. And I'm so impressed that they put these, like, lighter stripes in his hair. And that he does not look old. You see what I'm saying? Like, that could have easily have made him feel like he was, like, 50. And he's not. So, thank the lord. Thank the lord for Rosho. Rosho I also love the glasses that they've got the chain on them. It makes him... <laughs> His ankles look dumb. You can't even see his ankles. Or are you talking about Sasara? <laughs> He's a teacher, by the way. Rosho is a is a teacher, fun fact. And he used to be he used to be in in a comedy team duo with Sasara, but then he quit to become a teacher. And and it was tragic and sad and it was raining when he did that. So now Sasara doesn't like the rain because it reminds him of when of when Rosho quit being his comedy partner. It's sad. No, Rosho's pants makes it look like he's got horse ankles. I, 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 <laughs> Why are you guys so into ankles today? <laughs> He looks like a librarian. I don't think they specify what he teaches. <laughs> but aren't they still friends? Yes. But, you know. <laughs> still sad. <laughs> Is he a dilf? Pretty sure he's like 26 or something. So, if if, if that counts as dilf to you. <laughs> He is also nervous. Yeah, he's nervous in front of crowds, which is hilarious because it's like, you chose two professions where speaking in front of crowds is all you do. He's a math teacher. <laughs> he, he, he's teaching troubled youths. <laughs> You're the one showing us all the sexy ankles pick, Doc. I guess. I guess. I mean, you can't even see his ankles. He's got baggy pants. Get over there. <laughs> Anyway, talking about Rosho, I really like the character and I like how it correlates with Sasara. It's a strong design and it's a fun gimmick. Half the, but the problem is I'm going to put him into um into character design because of that. Cuz he can rap, clearly. Uh, and half the time I'm like, "Oh, I really liked Rosho's verse in that." But the other half of the time, he's just forgettable. I, 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 he really, like, kind of fluctuates between songs, in my opinions. So, I really love the character and the design. Which, by the way, I'm so upset that it, like, did it this way. Where design is, like, chunked down like this. I didn't do that uh, willingly. I wanted it to look nice. <laughs> it, it chose to make it look stupid like this. Don't worry, I hate it more than you do. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Rosho's raps are a little hit and miss for me. The rapper is great. He also, l looking at him, the IRL VA, he seems to be like four feet tall. He looks tiny and it's adorable. <laughs> Somewhat forgettable but good with his team. For real. And that's the biggest thing. All of Dosatari Hampo really benefit from being together. While I, I really like them all individually, seeing their performances as a group and like where they get to interact with each other, it really elevates all of them. That's how fetishes start. <laughs> but yeah, that's Rosho. Rosho's awesome. But let's talk about one of the most fascinating characters in this whole dang franchise. It's Rey. So, Ray is the reason why I really fell into Hypnosis Mike. Because what was at first just like a passing interest. Ray is he's so bananas. First, he's the, the Buster Bros. You know, Ichiro and Jiro. It's, he's their dad. He's their dad. This is his dad. They're the dad. The father. He also has heterochromia. He's got a scar on one eye and that eye is like gray. But it's... It's heterochromia. It's- he's their dad! And I was like, what? Also, also, he fucking- he made the hypnosis mics. Like, the magical microphones that let them do magic and bullshit. He made them. He- 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 he made them! And then he's just a member of a team led by a comic. Like, that was added in later. Like, he wasn't in the original, like, story and shit. And I was like, why are you- like this. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He's also a con man. And fun fact, his voice actor also plays Kiryu from Yakuza. <laughs> he's not even the- he's, he's just also there. And like half the time, they'll be rapping and stuff. And Rosho and Sasara's whole verses will be like, about drinking. There's multiple songs are about, let's go get some drinks. And he's like, I don't really wanna, <laughs> but I'll come anyway, I guess. I'll be the, I'll be the designated driver. Multiple songs are like that. And what a bananas fascinating character. <laughs> so Ray is whack. <laughs> I'm gonna put him also into character slash design. I do like his voice a lot, but I, I do think like he's one of the, uh, I'm gonna use the word weaker, but not like a weak rapper by any means. But of the group, his verses can be a little more subdued, which definitely works for him. And sometimes he really like kicks it up a notch and those are really fun. But uh, the character is definitely the biggest draw to Ray. What a bananas. Everything about him is bananas. <laughs> also, cool shoes. I like the shoes. So, yeah, a, a wacky guy. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Design is definitely the most attention grabbing. For real. The raps are very good, but uh, also, I don't know, with <laughs> the other two, like, being a comedy team. And then just also Ray is there. I don't know, he's- in terms of, like, the group dynamic, he is the weakest, but- but... Look at him. What a man. <laughs> look at how many buttons he hasn't done up. That's good. <laughs> yeah, you do have to be picky for this, because we really are splitting hairs for- for this kind of- of a list. All right, next up is Fling Posse. Fling Posse's fun. I feel like it's one of the ones that most people know. Like most people recognize Fling Posse, even if like you haven't like don't know anything about Hypnosis Mike. Um, uh, and this is Ramuda. Fun fact about Ramuda's voice actor um, is that <laughs> of so Ramuda's the shortest of his group, Fling Posse. Um, uh, and, but. His voice actor is the tallest member IRL of the group, <laughs> which is- it was hilarious. I really like his design. I especially like this, like, belt thing. It kind of gives him, like, a tail vibe. And it ends up coming across more like a little- like a demon than anything else. Which is cool. I think he might be a main antagonist to a degree? <laughs> so, which is smart. So, which is- which is really cool. His VA is super fun. Yeah, I think- doesn't he have, like, a YouTube channel? His voice actor? I feel like I've seen him on on YouTube somewhere, but I can't be sure. This one's distracting because this is just like the exact uniform the students wear in Rosario Vampire. It is, now that you point that out. He's a fashion designer, fun fact. Um, he's also 26. And I'm gonna I'm gonna look at his other team members for a second as well. So 26. 26. 20. How is this one the 20 year old? How is this one the baby of the group? But we'll, we'll get to Dice and Gintaro in a second. Let's focus on Ramuda. <laughs> They're also- actually no, we're talking about them some more. So fucking- they have like this little theme that they're RGB. Like red, blue, green. Bitch the fuck no- okay, cuz Ramuda <laughs> is red and I guess he's got the little red bow tie but clearly Pink is more so the color you're seeing, which we can give that a pass. Pink is technically red, but he's also got all of this teal on him as well. And then, and then fucking Dice. Dice is blue, and yeah, he's got blue hair, but clearly this green ass jacket that's humongous is the more eye-catching part. And then, how in the shit is Gentaro? How, how are you green? I think he's got green eyes. He's purple. He's clearly purple. <laughs> Look at, it, it's a good looking purple and I just needed to get that out because <laughs> it's like no you are not RGB you idiots <laughs> he designed their outfits that's fun <sighs> so anyway back to Ramuda <laughs> I like Ramuda 
I'm not really into, like, Shoto boys. So, in terms of a husband, I wouldn't pick him. But, uh... His book is green, maybe? I, I, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it is. <laughs> um... So... I like Ramuda a lot. His raps are really good. I can- you can tell that his voice actor is clearly, like, seasoned to a- to a degree. Like, his VA seems so confident behind the mic. Uh, I'm gonna put him into can rap. I definitely don't hate the character design, but personally, uh, I- I don't like this sort of, like, younger boy aesthetic. I don't like this sort of, like, snotty character kind of character that- like, archetype that he's got. I definitely don't hate Ramuda. He's really fun to see him interact with others, but uh, just just not for me, poisonly. He looks puntable, <laughs> but he will kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also he does. He's got a cool thing where he usually, you know, speaks like he's got a cute voice and speaks like in a cute way. But when shit gets real, he like drops an octave or two and, and he starts talking talking tough shit and it, that's fun that's really cool so i like his raps a lot <laughs> let's talk about gentaro <laughs> i really like gentaro and it took me a little bit to get into gentaro because at first you see him and this outfit and it's like okay so what's your deal and he's a he's a writer <clears throat> he's a writer but um and he likes to dress in an old-fashioned way. It's implied that that's, like, a mask he uses uh, to, like, to make himself feel better. That's all right. It took me a sec to be like, oh, okay. Um, I like his raps a lot. That was the biggest thing that kind of pulled me in. Was that his raps are usually, like, really elegant. Like, he's usually got a, a different sort of cadence and rhyme scheme and... And it sounds really different, which is cool. It's really fun. Um, and then I figured out that he's also, like, a liar. <laughs> that he's always lying. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> and and that made it all kind of click. I was like, all right, he's he's kind of an asshole, I see. And, and, I, and I liked it a lot. Because at first I thought he was just, like, a soft boy. A nice, tall, soft boy wearing traditional clothes, so then you can have one of them wearing the traditional clothes. Um, but then, like, everything else, kind of similar to Heaven and Hell, everything else came to light, and, and it really all helped click for me. Um, he's not green. You're, you aren't green. <laughs> but I can let that slide, because he's also, like, the only one, I feel like, who really wears purple, and I like purple. <laughs> he does have a very distinct voice. Which, which is cool. You definitely don't mistake Gentaro for anyone else. Even similar types of, like, soft-spoken, traditional types of characters. Um, I, I, I think Gentaro kind of stands out. Forgettable for you? I see- I, I understand how you could come to that. I really do. I think big, his biggest thing is him interacting with the rest of his team helps bolster him up a lot. I'm gonna put him also into can rap. I'm gonna put him above Ramuda, though. Okay, um, I do really, really like his design a lot, uh, but I think I like his rapping more, and I don't think he's quite good enough to be in Can Do Both. Watch all three of them. <laughs> I just feel out each group is just, just it's, each tier is for a group. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like Gintara a lot. Really fun. Let's talk about Dice. The idiot, Dice. So Dice, I went on a real whirlwind. He's the other one with ankles, by the way. I hate his pants. Let's talk about his pants. <laughs> I hate his pants. I think his design might be, at least in my opinion, my least favorite. It's my least favorite design of all of, of Hypnosis Mike. Um, <laughs> I saw his critter saying this is the one with ankles. <laughs> Dice the hobo gambler. Yes. And so that's that's the thing. Gamblers are very well off, actually. If you're a professional gambler, you do it professionally because you know how to not lose. And so I'm not into the idea of having the gambler look like a hobo. Um, because of he that's his profession. His job is gambler. And that impl I, I think he should look 
look nicer for that. Um, but, so yeah, the shoes, they're just dumb shoes, but more, I mean, they're nice. They're, they're all illustrated well. I don't like these pants. I don't like that they're short. I don't like that I could see his ankles. Yes, I liked it on Cesara. It being paired with the tux made it feel like that was the point. These pants are just not long enough for him. I don't like this belt thing. I, it's, it's just like... It's just, it's not quite doing it for me. This jacket makes him look like a hobo, as we've mentioned. And then his hair is a little meh, so he's my least favorite design. That being said, I don't hate the design, but it does kind of feel a little bit like when you've drawn like seven characters already and you need to get one more done and you're, it's the, the end of the day and you kind of just, it's like, how do I make him not look boring? That's how he kind of feels like to me. You like the fur on his hood? You know, that's true. There are elements to it I like. I like his eyes a lot. I like all of the eyes, but his eyes are a really fun color combo. The fur is really cool. The color palette in general, while not blue. <laughs> if we're gonna pretend he is blue, but that's a whole fling posse problem. <laughs> What's with the cross belt thing? Yeah, I don't know. I, it just uh, fashion, I guess. It, it, it feels like they drew... Uh, like the rest of it it went <sighs> he's boring what do i add to him to make him look more interesting uh, belt uh, you know it, uh, that's what it feels like you know he looks like he should be the actual fashion designer maybe Ramuda definitely looks better <laughs> in my opinion fling posse are also really fascinating because um they like don't look like they go together <laughs> like the others have like clear themes like across the group and like like features that are like like you know that you can uh, that they share and uh, fling posse look like three three strangers from different time periods <laughs> and i kind of like that about them but uh and i and so i'm gonna put dice into forgettable Unfortunately, I'm gonna put him high into forgettable. I do like some of his raps. His VA gets to do this thing sometimes where he like rolls his R's. It kind of simulates the sound of like doing, um, doing a fuck what it's called. What is it called? The thing you do when you gamble slot machine. It sounds kind of like doing a slot machine. And that's really cool. I, his, similar to Rosho in a way, his, his, his raps can be a little bit hit or miss. I do like them for the most part, but paired with him having my least favorite design, I'm, I'm gonna slap him into forgettable. And actually, yeah, I'm gonna keep him right there. There's such a mishmash, very realistic, like a bunch of IRL dudes <laughs> trying to brute force a theme, for real. It's like one of them was like, oh, we're like RGB, and the others were like, yeah, I mean, that's the best we got, isn't it? <laughs> that thing you do when you gamble. You mean lose money? <laughs> yeah, Ramuda's belt felt interesting. Dice's just feels like something to, to make his hips slightly more interesting. So, I do love Dice. Like, the character is hilarious. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a funny guy. I like that he's, like, kind of stupid. <laughs> and that the others pick on him, in a way. And it, it's, it's a good energy that, that Fling Posse have. But, uh, but someone's got to go into Forgettable. And unfortunately, Dice does. Oh, but now we're, we're jumping into a very exciting group. So, next up is... Is Montenro. We're gonna start with their leader. Uh, Ildok. I know him as Ildok the best. His name is uh, Jokurai. I probably won't call him that. <laughs> I absolutely love this design. I, abs I absolutely love him, honestly, in terms of character. He was a big inspiration for me. This design fills me with inspiration. His theme, all of- so while <laughs> earlier I mentioned that Badass Temple kind of have a religion theme in a way, I guess it's more of a duality theme. Because um, the religion is- Element is a lot stronger with Montenro. Doc, like, all three of them have names relating to religion to some degree. And Doc being a doctor, but also, like, with that religious vibe. Like, his speakers look like a giant halo, you know? I really like that a lot. It's super cool. 
And I love this design. It's great. He looks great. His his wraps are really good. I'm okay. I'm gonna just stick him into can do both right now. <laughs> and now we'll just talk about Ildok a little bit more. <laughs> his voice is so deep too. <laughs> Can't remember the exact quote from your Amori stream, but that NPC that was like, I love watching all my money going into the machine and none of it coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Lab coat. Yeah, it's because he's, he's actually a doctor. He's really a doctor. What's Monroe mean? It's got, I think it's got something to do with wolves, but let me Google it. Everybody cheer. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he also, fun fact, so he like fought in the war. Um... And now he, like, he deals with terrorists, which isn't something you'd expect from a doctor. <laughs> uh, so yeah, a real, a real interesting character, Ill Doc. Guys, just because it's a long coat doesn't mean it looks like Kaiba. I think the important thing for it to feel like Kaiba is that it has to be like, and these are the sharp elements near the hips. That, at least personally, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that helps to make Kaiba feel like he's got wings. This just ends up feeling like, like a long jacket. But uh, let's let's see what Montenro means. I'm Googling. I'm Googling. Don't worry. I'm scrolling. Okay, so it means skyscraper, which is a nod to the Shinjuku having most of the tallest skyscrapers in Japan. It also contains the kanji for wolf. So yeah, they, they're from Shinjuku. Their, ah, their theme is, like, their logo is a little wolf. Heal, healer, hero. How can he be both a heel and a hero? Because he's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, doesn't, doesn't the person who, uh, everyone thinks they're the hero of their own adventure, right? You know, but he can recognize that he's also a heel. Probably has something to do with the them using they used to be friends and now they aren't thing <laughs> yeah doc definitely ends up feeling like he has the most sort of plot going on in terms of character uh which is cool he's also the second oldest ray was the oldest he's like 47 i believe uh, and doc is in his 30s he is also the tallest character He's like 6'3", so now you know. <laughs> he says in the next verse that those are all the roles imposed on him by society. I usually get distracted looking at him. So good job, Allison. Good job for having having the lyrics on lockdown. Fuck, that's a good lyric. <laughs> so yeah, Ill Dog is 100% perfect. <laughs> Does Doc technically have a mullet? No. <laughs> I think this is just having bangs. <laughs> you know, like, do I have a mullet? No, I just have bangs. <laughs> you know, that's that's how I see it at least. But anyway, let's let's talk about Doc's team members. Uh like Hifumi. Hifumi took me, similarly, took me a little bit to kind of get into. Um, it helps once I learned his gimmick. So, he is terrified of women. <laughs> he is nervous, and he's he's similarly, it's kind of similar to, um, to Jiyushi over here. He's got a similar vibe where he's got sort of a duality thing going on. Where without his jacket, he's got he's got a little voice and oh I'm so shy and oh fuck I'm nervous. He, when he puts on the jacket, he gains confidence and, and then he gets the like suave playboy kind of persona, um, and and that was really fun figuring that out once because at first I thought he just was the playboy. Learning that he had a duality and that he's a host. Fun fact: like remember Oron High School Host Club. Yeah, he's a host, um, and uh, th he, that he became a host to try to help with his fear of women. Plus, this being a world where women like rule the world, uh, it all kind of coalesces together in a really fun way. And specifically, I really like seeing him interact with his team members on his own. He is a fine concept, but seeing him help the others, or well, Dopo, like with his problems, and the other two helping him with his problems. It's all really fun. 
I like I like I ended up liking Hifumi a lot more than I def than I did originally. Um, it's kind of similar to if you've played Fire Emblem Fates. <laughs> um, if you remember uh, Charlotte, Charlotte, how she had like the oh I'm so I'm just a pretty girl I need a man to come save me, but that was just a ruse, <laughs> and then she was actually like a bitch, and that made her awesome. Hafumi's kind of like that. You see him and you think, oh, a playboy, playboy fuckboy. And then you learn that that's a ruse and it's like, oh, that's great. I think that's a lot of fun. What did you guys say? Hang on. <laughs> Hot dogs are sandwiches, ramen is cereal, and most haircuts are mullets. <laughs> Not a lot of hair by his ears. It's long and tucked back. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you're right. There should be perhaps... A little bit of something there. I'm pointing on, but you can't see my mouse. <laughs> there should be a little bit of something there. Uh, I, I, I think it looks good enough, for sure. I, I don't know Danganronpa. I'm sorry. <laughs> he looks French. Is it the rose? <laughs> Is that why he looks French? <laughs> I like his hair a lot. Oh, the belt thing is also very cool. And I'm- I- it's tough for me to like two-toned hair like this. I- I think it ends up working for Hifumi. And I don't know why. It just does- I definitely wouldn't have thought to pair blonde with this, like, light green. But, um... But it works somehow. It really, really does. I'm going- where do I put him, though? I like his wrapping better than his design, I think. I do like his wrapping a lot. I'm gonna put him above Ramuda, I think. And I'm gonna put Kentaro over there. Okay, there we go. That looks good. So, yeah. I, I like his wrapping better than his design. His wrapping is usually a lot of fun, since he's fun, you know, being a host and all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Great stuff. But time for... Dopo. Dopo's fun because that is also his MC name. It's Dopo. It's just his name. <laughs> I know that this this picture probably isn't actually the best for you to like get to like Dopo. Uh, Critter. I had asked Critter her opinions on like all the guys before I'd made my video. And she didn't like Dopo much. Hang on, hang on. I need to blow my nose. Hang on, hang on. And the art. Fuck the song. Ah! Okay, I'm not dying anymore. Let's let's get a song playing. I'm tired of Canon and D though. Let's let's go back to Brodenberg. So he's not a <laughs> fascinating guess saying um, that he looks like a bodyguard. He's just a sales associate. He is a slave to the to the corporate machine, um, and he's depressed and he is a pessimist. And he's if you if you know Project Sakai, he's voiced by. Um, Toya. He's he's the he's the same voice actor, which is super fun. Uh, and I like Dopo a lot. While this is a pretty like on the nose kind of depiction of Dopo, he's usually not so eccentric looking. Um, and him being you change your mind, that's good. That's good. Yeah. And that's the thing. I think you just need a little bit of time with Dopo. Need to get to see him in not this pose, because this does end up reading a bit like edgy the hedgy in a way. Makes him feel like he's. He's a lot more unhinged than he is. <laughs> but yeah, he's really just like kind of sad. And, and but he yells like that's the thing. He like loses his shit cuz he's he's a a salary worker in a, in a job he hates taking pills to try to feel better. <laughs> the press pass. I think that's for him to get to different locations in his um uh like at his job, like, I belong in there, I'm going to a meeting, <laughs> let me in, kind of a thing. He makes you anxious, like a little dog that spontaneously bites real hard. He does have that vibe, which is fun. You know, while there's, there's a lot of characters with like a duality to their performances, and Dopo kind of has that as well, with him being usually down, and then very suddenly he's like screaming. Um, Dopo is fun though, because it just feels like he just snaps a little bit. <laughs> 
Does he have a choking kink? Uh, no, he he is being choked by society. <laughs> See, get it? It's the, yeah, it's a it's a bit of an on the nose pose here. Um, other depictions of Dopo, I think, do him better better justice. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, I, I like him a lot. I do think his rap- I like his character design better than him- his rapping. While I do like the duality of him sometimes yelling- sometimes yelling, I- I think it's- It's not like a strong enough gimmick to like pull him up. I'm gonna stick him between Dotsutara Hanpo there. <laughs> and he's another one with a two-toned hair. Actually, all of them do, cause I didn't talk about it, but Doc has like the inside of his hair is like lighter than the the darker outside. So they've all got that going for them, which which makes them really feel like a unit in a fun way. Uh, but yeah, I really like Dopo. I like him a lot. Um, there's just not a lot to say about him. I, I, I like that he's sad and he's funny. <laughs> which one is Hifumi again? The host club member. Frenchie. <laughs> I'm glad multiple of you were like the French one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's that's the biggest thing. The, the way he interacts with Hifumi especially is what really makes Dopo strong, in my opinion. But yeah, that's all for Mott and Ro. And now let's jump into our final group, and we're gonna start with Mr. Hardcore. <laughs> that's his MC name. Definitely a, the kind of name that I think works better in Japan, cause it's still in English. Kind of like Vicious in Cowboy Bebop. You know, just having a character called Vicious or Mr. Hardcore. <laughs> and it's a bit on the nose, um, but I'm significantly more confident saying Mr. Hardcore or Mr. HC than his actual name, which is Samatoki. <laughs> so don't expect me to say that again. He's got cool shoes too. Look at those cool shoes. Wow. So yeah, he's a Yakuza. He also, uh, he, I've seen this character design before in multiple places. I've already mentioned Vicious. He feels a lot like Vicious. I'm pretty sure there's a kid in, I didn't even play this game, but fucking the world ends with you. Pretty sure there's a kid that looks exactly like him. He does not look bad. And in fact, so I got, I, I, I watched <laughs> Cringe. Affectionate. <laughs> I watched like a live action version and he's a lot better in motion. Like when you get to see him, he like, Joshua, yeah, 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 from, from The World Ends With You, yeah. Uh, when you get to see him like move and, you know, perform, he really comes to life uh, and, and that helps a lot. But as it is, he's also one of my least favorite rappers. He's a good rapper, they're all great. But like, I feel like his verses never stand out all that much. And I don't even know why. I think I would like them better if I knew Japanese. I think he's got a real potty mouth and I tend to like, I tend to like swears a lot. I'm gonna put him in forgettable. Uh, he can go right next to Ichiro, which is hilarious because they, they used to be friends <laughs> and now they're not and they hate each other. That's like, they, they hate each other's guts and I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> Probably the hypnosis mics. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just a bit of a shame for Mr. Hardcore. <laughs> He's giving well-dressed bad boy. Yeah, I mean, he is, he does look cool. <laughs> and he, he's a character archetype I do like a lot. I do like this sort of like thug. He's got a little sister as well. He's got a little sister that he takes care of and fuck, I'm a huge sucker for this. For the, for the, that is a, a good, but in terms of like rapping and character design, I've seen this character design and I've heard, and his rapping just doesn't, doesn't stand out to me, unfortunately. The anti-L. <laughs> Maybe Mafia going on vacation. Yakuza going on vacation, if we're gonna be specific, so. But that's enough about Mr. HC, I think. Nothing else to really say about him, unfortunately. I like his bracelets, those are cute. Uh, I, but um, let's talk about his significantly more interesting team members, like Jiuto. I like Jiuto a lot. I think he might be my favorite rapper of the group. While like Sasara is my favorite and he, he is my favorite and he, he is top, but of them, I think Jiuto is my favorite when it comes to like just pure music ability. 
<laughs> what if we kissed in the forgettable tear? <laughs> Allison, you're not allowed to be funnier than me. <laughs> yes, I love his red sh his red gloves, and they do match his shoes. But then the gloves, fuck, it's so cool. He's a cop, but he's corrupt. But he's not corrupt in a way that's like planting drugs onto onto people to send them to jail. No, no, no. He's corrupt because he's working with the Yakuza. So, Mr. Hardcore. He's working with the Yakuza to to stop to stop drugs because his sister died to drugs. And so he's got a tragic backstory and I like him a lot. And also he's got glasses and his and his radio and his uh, his speakers look like sirens and it's cool. So, okay. Um I'm gonna put him in top. <laughs> Into a can do both, rather. So, actually, I like him so much. I like him so much, he gets to join Sasara. This is unprecedented, but I've convinced myself. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's one, because I really like his rapping. He's got such a unique voice, but also this character design and the character, like, characterization, like the writing. It's so fun and interesting. A sudden turn. <laughs> Like, he's so... He's so cool he made me hit my pop filter. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. I know, it's a plot twist. I didn't expect this. I truly didn't. But I said it. I said I'm gonna put him in top. And then I was like, oh, no, wait, that's just for Sasara. And then I was like, no, I need to follow my heart. <laughs> rap battle, rap battle. <laughs> They must fight for your love. <laughs> They're really different looking too. Like, like, looking at my two favorite husbandos, what, what's similar between- We've got a fucking clown <laughs> and a cop. <laughs> this is unprecedented, but I'm not upset about it. Um, so, yeah, sorry. Also, I mean, obviously, Mr. Hardcore is forgettable when he's got a team member, like, Giuto. Immediately, like, you just, you wait for Mr. HC to finish his rap so that Giuto can get to start his. <laughs> they both wear suits. You know what? I do like suits, I guess. Angle or your devil. <laughs> I do also like neckties, so... I, I, this is what we're learning. How do you become Twins' favorite husbando? Wear a suit. Look the part. More like your ankle or your devil. <laughs> you guys gotta stop being funnier than me. <laughs> this is my stream. <laughs> But I think that's enough of Juto. I There's truly nothing else I can say about him without it just becoming me going, you know, so. <laughs> Let's move on to our final member, uh, which is Rio, uh, whose uh, MC name is Crazy M. I forgot what the M stands for. It's like fucking Marine or something like that. <laughs> you like this one better because he looks like he would wear socks. <laughs> So, yeah, Rio's really fun. He was in the Navy, or Army. He was a Marine. He was in the- he- he battled in- in war battle. Um... Did Twins just motorboat the guy? Moreover, I was doing- have you seen that- have you seen that fucking clip? It's Electabuzz. <laughs> So, it, it is from the anime, and and the guy's like, <laughs> the guy's like, I like the buzz, do the thunderbolt, and he says it like that. I He was like some thug, so they gave him like a silly voice, and he's like, I like the buzz, do the thunderbolt, and I like the buzz's VA just goes, <laughs> in the, <laughs> behind the mic, and that's how he does thunderbolt. <laughs> so that's what I was really pulling from, <laughs> and then I was like, fuck, they're gonna think I'm motorboating him. <laughs> But yeah, let's talk about Rio. If Lolith were here, this would be Lolith's top pick, I'm sure, because he's a cute little male wife. He's one of the tallest members, but yeah, he's nice. 
He's a delightful boy. He's a gentleman. He cooks. He likes to cook food. And and he wants you to eat the cooking because he worked really hard on it. And he's a nice guy. And he's really swell. And the others in his team are kind of, <laughs> kind of afraid of him. <laughs> but he's nice. I promise. <laughs> You have arrived! We're nearing the end, which is which is great, because that just means you get to see the tier list in its in its completion stage. <laughs> looks like Lieutenant Surge. If Lieutenant Surge actually looked good, you take that back. Lieutenant Surge looks great. <laughs> but he does he does I mean, of course military guys kind of have a similar vibe to them. Uh, I really like Rio, and I love how he looks with his team. That was something that Critter had kinda caught on to. Alright, calm down, Brunberg. <laughs> uh, but, like, they all look really good together. You know, with, like, this, like, basically monochrome with red, and then and then hardcore in the center without the red to make him really stand out. Actually, I'm pretty sure he's got red eyes. So, they look great. They're, like, aesthetically, I think they're the best looking team, in my opinion. Uh, but now I just need to figure out where to put Rio, because I've put zero thought into that. Male wife with unintentional threatening aura. Perfect energy. You're not wrong. Oh no, you're- Oh no! Green machine! That's unfortunate. <laughs> that sucks a lot. <laughs> Can't cook, he's nice, but he has an intimidating look. Ever everyone seems to really like him. <laughs> when the toxic men are handsome. <laughs> I do- I like his raps a lot. You know, I'm gonna put him into can do both. Yeah, he's- I think he's a real second favorite. At first- my favorite group was, um, was Mad Trigger Crew, uh, but, but then Cesara. <laughs> so I've got to be a Dotsutara Hompo fan. But, uh, yeah, wow, isn't that fun? Everyone ended up being pretty close to each other except for Mad Trigger Crew. <laughs> Navy camo is always cool. It is, yeah. We gotta have more camo in not just, like, green, I think in terms of, like, character designs. You just got the pen too- oh no! That sucks a lot. <laughs> Bad dog. <laughs> I hope the dog's okay though, at least, you know. Uh, but yeah, there we go. A solid list, I'd say. <laughs> a shorter stream as well. I kind of figured, I've got a lot of things I'm working on right now. I, I, I want to finish like a video and I need to start scripting another video and I'm doing doing art so uh, I kind of expected today to be a little bit shorter but that's all right because it's a short stream means I'm working on other things for you guys <laughs> what's this why are they like that though I don't want to be a, in a toxic relationship but why when they are hot they're making me reconsider that <laughs> It's all- it's all- it's good as long as they're anime boys. There you go. As long as it's an anime boy, no problems. <laughs> the stream was hilarious though. It was a lot of fun. I wanted to do this ever since I was like into Hypnosis Mike, but I knew I couldn't until I made my video. Because <laughs> otherwise you guys would be like, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> a real high ranking list as well. Only three guys in Forgettable is not bad by any means. Most and like with the most ending up in can do both. That's that's good shit. Also surprise second top husband. This is great. I'm 10 out of 10. And quite frankly, Jiro would have been way higher if he was just a year older. So yeah, real real awesome stuff. And um uh, it was worth staying for the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm surprised you didn't end up conking out. <laughs> yeah, lots of ankles. <laughs> top 10 top 10 hypnosis mic ankles one <laughs> maybe for april fool's day I'll, I'll do a stream like that but um yeah this was a lot of fun uh if you are curious about hypnosis mic and you're like but you don't really know like what to look into i've got a video it's my latest video so go to my channel and watch that it's only like 10 minutes long um and yeah, go listen to their music and and buy Blu-rays of their anime. Uh, so then they figure out that 
uh, people in the West are interested in this, and then they start shipping over their things, so then I can have more Hypnosis Mike things. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I have no hot takes. <laughs> That'd be great. Finally do a waifu tier list, but it's all just a bunch of indistinguishable ankles. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, a nice short little stream. Have fun with the rest of your day. Uh, I hope it's productive. And uh, yeah, I have no hot takes to end the stream off on. It's harder with tier lists, because tier lists are basically just a string of hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, adios. Have fun. See ya later. Uh, see ya. See ya on the flip side. A g goodbye. I almost didn't end stream. I just, <laughs> I almost just stopped the music. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> hot take. Everyone is hot. That's a fair, fair hot take.